Welcome, Geminis. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I have been a little MIA on you guys. I definitely do apologize that I am running running a little late on you guys' reading. But most definitely, guys, I'm not going to lie. My focus has been, you know, elsewhere because um, my hometown where I grew up and where I've, I've been going from this city for about two to three years now. But my family and friends still are there. Um, Brunswick, Georgia. A lot of you may have heard about the Ahmad Arbery case. All right. There's been a lot of protesting going on. There's been a lot of um, coverage on Glen County. Glen County is a very small, you know, little small town. And there's been a lot of things that has been exposed about Glen County. Um, the city is kind of going a little bonkers right now. So my focus has really been there because I still have family there. I still have friends there. I still basically go there like every other weekend. So that's where my focus has been. And um, the city is going really, really hard to try to get justice. And justice will be served for Ahmad Arbery. I run, I run with Ahmad, okay? Um, let's get down to the... Let's get down to the nitty gritty here. All right, so what energy is coming towards? What energy is coming towards my Gemini's? Gemini's, Gemini's, Gemini's. What message do you have for my Gemini's? I hope and pray that we get a better reading than we did last month, guys, because last month reading was off the charts. And I hope everyone that commented um, has found their way, okay, that has been going through that. I hope everyone that, you know, has found their way because that's not a great situation to be in at all. So let's hope that we get a better read for the month of May for my Geminis. Let's see. What message do you have for Geminis? At the bottom of the deck, we got three of pentacles. It's in the reverse. We got the eight of swords under that as well in the reverse. I feel like you are... Um, you're thinking a lot. How this is going to, how something is going to work out. Okay, let's see. We got the magician in the reverse. Okay, wow, what is this? We got the six of cups. We also have the strength card. Could be dealing with a Leo. All right, I got the seven of cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio's energy. You got a decision that you got to make. Um, and you are, you're trying to decide on whether or not if you are strong enough to make this decision. Okay. Maybe you did, you made the decision in the past or you're reviewing the past. You're looking over the past, but you know that there's a decision that you need to make. Okay. You guys were worried like hell in the past. And I feel like moving forward, you guys may be deciding to distance yourself or feeling like you have to go on an inner self journey. Okay, so it looks like you guys are trying to do some healing. Okay, yikes. Okay, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. I feel like you guys feel as if you need to make some type of decision. Okay, why is the magician here? You may be feeling like you've been being, being manipulated. Um, you may feel like you're dealing with a narcissist. You may feel like you're dealing with somebody who can pull the wool over your eyes. Okay. Why is the magician here? Or oh, this is your energy. Maybe you're trying some, you got some tricks up your sleeve. Why is the magician in the reverse here? The judgment reverse. So you know that you need to make a final decision. You know that you need to make a final decision. Okay. Are you prepared to make this decision? Are you making plans? Are you are you plotting? Is there a grand scheme here? Okay, because I'm feeling like there's some type of grand scheme. Why is the strength card here? 
the Hierophant. You could be dealing with the Taurus. But I definitely feel like you are looking for some inner strength, okay? You're trying to find an inner strength to make a decision. Um, you could feel like... You could feel like someone has uh, some bad habits. Someone maybe drinks too much. Someone maybe smokes too much. Someone maybe someone's indulging in um, some habit form thing here. Something is a habit, okay? And I'm picking up that it could be like a drinking habit. Because we got the Three of Cups. They're drinking. They're celebrating. Someone could party a lot, drink a lot. Someone just has like uh, some bad habits, okay? Maybe you're trying to... Uh, Get them to go to counseling or try to get some type of assistance, some type of aid or get them to join a church or something in that nature. But you do feel like that a big change needs to be made and you feel like that um, you need to make some type of decision. Why is the seven of cups here? Two of Swords, okay? You're not sure which decision. You, you're not sure what you want to do or how you want to move. You're not sure. You're not sure. Yeah, see, you do feel like there needs to be some changes here, but you're not... You're, I feel like you're not, you're not going to make the decision, or some of you aren't. You don't feel like you're going to win, or you feel like... You're not getting paid any attention. I feel like you, some of you may feel like you're not getting the attention that you deserve. I see that as well, too. Nine of Swords, reverse here. Thank you. We have the Page of Cups. Okay. So maybe you're afraid to communicate with this person. Because this person may has like an anxiety issue or they, you know, crash out. Uh, why is the Page of Cups here? Oh, this person makes you nervous, like, when you talk to them, okay? And maybe you feel like it's not it's not going to be worth it, okay? You know that there needs to be some changes. You feel like if you have this conversation, nothing's going to change, or the changes aren't going to go in your favor, okay? Hermit reverse, I mean, hermit, uh, gosh, for future energy. You could be dealing with the Virgo. I got the death card here. Death card in reverse, okay? Why is the death card in reverse here? Six of Swords reverse. So, someone's not over something, okay? Maybe something that they saw. Someone's not over it. Um, maybe you decide that you need to distance yourself until they get over it. But someone is not over something here that they saw. Why is the Six of Swords reverse? Nine of Cups. Somebody wants to leave. Somebody wants to leave. Somebody wants someone to leave. Or somebody is thinking or contemplating on walking away. Okay? Telling somebody goodbye. Because something isn't working out. I feel like some of you eventually are going to go on like a hiatus. A lot of you may decide that, you know, you may be feeling conflicted on making this decision now. But some of you um, are feeling like, you know, that you need to distance yourself, okay, until this blows over. Because, you know, you just feel like that's the best thing to do. But I feel like some of you feel like this is a big risk. With the full card here for you guys' this energy. You're thinking about it, okay? You're thinking about it. Four of Swords and the Fool. You've been contemplating on this. I feel like you've been plotting in the past anyway um, on how you're going to make this next move. I feel like you're thinking about some forward action, some forward movement. Some of you want to bust out and have some fun, man. Some of you have been feeling caged in or lonely. Some of you are just looking for a good time and some fun, you know, to try to keep your mind off it. But you could be, you know, tired of putting your life at risk. Tired of, you're just tired of it, okay? Queen of Wands, yeah. Like, you, you're ready to go have some fun, okay? Page of Pentacles is their energy. King of Cups. 
<laughs> this person knows that you're afraid of them or you're afraid to speak up, okay? Why is the Ace of Swords here? I feel like you want some communication. But I feel like for some reason, like you're regretting. Why are you regretting? You're regretting waiting so long to say something. That's what it is. You regret wait, that you waited so long to say or to speak your mind. Five of Swords as the outcome. I really don't like this outcome. But this is conflict. And this is someone being spiteful. And there's just like, you know, feelings of being defeated. Why is the Five of Swords here? The lovers. You guys, it's energy. Okay. Like, you guys could be feeling defeated. Like, you just lost, you know, you lost in the situation. Or you feel like you'll take a loss. Why is the lovers here? And the three of swords. Okay, like, maybe you feel um, if you guys break up, you, you know, lost, quote unquote. You took a lot. You took an L, you took a loss. Okay. For some of you guys, it could be this person could be providing you with financial stability and something in, in that nature. Or you've been with this person for a long time. Okay. You've been with them for a while. Let's get some uh, guidance and advice. Let's get some guidance and advice. All of these came out reversed. I don't know how that happened. Okay, we got Akasha. Your guidance is divinely guided. Okay, so you're being divinely guided to make some take some type of action. I got the age of light. You've been training for this for lifetimes. Okay, so the light is like the light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, like you guys are being guided to something better is what I'm getting. We got star seed. What lights you up? What lights you up? What makes you happy? So the focus needs to be on you, okay? And I got play here. And I get that you guys are also going through an awakening, okay? This situation is calling you to um, awaken, okay? A new way of being, an energetic upgrade. And we got play. Have fun. Celebrate. Don't be so serious, okay? Don't be so serious. All right, let's see what the angels have to say for Gemini's. What message do we have for Gemini's? We got communicate clearly. We got there's something better. And we got within the next few months. Within the next few months, okay? Success is on the horizon for you within the next few months. Okay, so I'm going to pull a color fire two for communicate clearly. Okay, I got judgment, okay? Judgment and the hermit and the death card here, okay? So... Some of you guys may, this, you could be dealing with like feelings of loneliness. I'm getting like, um, some of you may feel alone, okay? But you don't have to be, okay? And if you need to communicate that you feel alone or you feel sad or you feel kind of um, like you need to go on a soul search, then you need to communicate that. I'm getting that that needs to be communicated because I am getting that. You are awakening to to that feeling like, you know, maybe I've, I'm a little sad. Maybe I'm depressed. Maybe I feel lonely. Okay. And the first step to healing is most definitely being able to um, recognize that. Okay. We got there's something better. 
Three of Wands. You're waiting on something better. I see it. Your ships are getting ready to come in, okay? We got the tower. This is like something random out of the blue. Like, out of the blue, look, something better comes. Empress, something better comes randomly out of the blue. Like, oh, an opportunity. An opportunity is getting ready to present itself. You may have to sneak off to even listen. If you gotta take, if, if you gotta sneak to do something as an adult, then you don't need to be in that situation. Like you're an adult, you don't have to sneak around and do anything that it is that you want to do. Okay, if that if you don't feel happy in the situation, then leave. Okay, within the next few months, what do we have here? Within the next few months, within the next few months. Oh, something is coming to an end. Something is ending, okay, and within the next few months. Something is over. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Oh, okay, wow. It could be, for some of you, it could be a marriage. It could be um, a family situation. Someone may be feeling like they got betrayed or stabbed in the back. But for a lot of you guys, there may be talks about a divorce or separation, okay? Oh, yeah. See, look, we got the Ten of Pentacles here as well, too. All of these cards symbolize, like, a long-term relationship or marriage. Um, but there is coming, there is going to be some type of ending. So some of you guys are going to be getting out of this, okay? Some of you are done with this. And I applaud you for that because no one is supposed to stay somewhere where they aren't happy, okay? I got the King of Cups, okay, yeah. I feel like um, you need, you okay, you guys are contemplating and looking over this past, okay? And you know that it's time for you to make a decision. Make sure you're making the best decision possible, okay? And if it's leaving a, a situation, separating, it doesn't matter how long you've been with this person. It does not matter. If you are not happy, leave, okay? All right, guys, until next time. And let me know what's going on in the comment section below, guys. I run with my peace and love.